and troubling chapter has begun in Connecticut's growing opioid epidemic. Experts have seen a disturbing trend. Addicts using a dangerous drug originally designed as an elephant tranquilizer, and it's already had some deadly consequences here in our state. Channel 3's Roger Suzanne is live now in the studio with more details on this drug. Roger? Well, Mark, most people have probably never heard of carfentanil, but families of opioid users know all about the dangerous drug and to worry about the havoc it could soon wreak in our state. It's right up there with my baby powder. <laughs> Most people keep sugar or spices in their kitchen cabinets. Sue Willette has Narcan. Injection complete. The Meriden mom has a large supply of the opioid antidote, which can reverse drug overdoses, because she has seen firsthand the dangers of opioid addiction. We are losing an entire generation. You see, two of her three sons have had their lives turned upside down because of the epidemic. Sue didn't know there was a problem until one March night in 2015. There was a banging on my door, and my husband and I opened my door to eight armed police officers with their guns in my face. Investigators arrested her middle son, Jonathan, for dealing opioids to support his addiction. Now he's in jail. I haven't touched my son in almost two years. I see him through glass. A few months after Jonathan's arrest, her youngest boy, Chris, went to rehab for opioid addiction. Staring me right in the face and I didn't have a clue. Chris is clean now, but every day is a struggle. Sue started a charity, the Roadway of Hope CT, to help other families touched by addiction. But she's worried by the growing use of an extremely powerful synthetic opioid. It's this big. You take a piece this big of that stuff on your finger and it could kill you. A drug called carfentanil, which was first developed as an elephant tranquilizer, caused the death of a Norwalk man in April, which is believed to be the first fatality involving the drug here in Connecticut. If it's possible to have something scarier and more potent and more frightening, then I guess this would be it. Dr. J. Craig Allen, an addiction medicine physician and medical director at the Rushford Center in Meriden, says the drug is 100 times more powerful than fentanyl and 1,000 times more potent than morphine. Smaller amounts of this substance appear to be able to kill people even quicker. The stuff is so powerful, Allen says inexperienced users can OD just from touching it. Sue says carfentanil's rise makes it more important than ever that state leaders devote more time and resources to fighting the opioid epidemic. I consider myself one of the lucky ones. My kids are alive. Now, Sue's charity is hosting a free Narcan training session for Meriden residents later this week. You can find more information by visiting our website, WFSB.com. Roger Suzanne in Channel 3 Eyewitness